welcome back to my channel today you guys i'm going to be showing you guys my 2024 curly hair routine I, i'm in the process to trying to love my curly hair again if you know you know it is a struggle with curly hair like it has its days you could do the exact same routine today and you could do the exact same routine yesterday literally step by step and your hair will look different every single time so it's so hard to know if you're going to like how your hair turns out or not yeah today i thought i would show you guys how i style mine and what products i use so for washing my hair you guys i use the aussie moist shampoo and conditioner i'll put a picture right here but i've been using that since i was little and that's i've tried a bunch of different things like i've steered to like carol's daughter shea moisture um a bunch like mixed chicks i've tried a bunch of different shampoo and conditioner even like Pantene, y'all, like for real. Um, but honestly, I always just start back to the Aussie Moist because that is just what works best for my hair personally. Don't know about y'all, but that's what works for my curl pattern, my texture, whatever. And then before I show you guys what products I use and before I start styling it, I look crazy right now. I just wanted to show and share with you guys what hair masks I like to use because I know a lot of people struggle with finding like good hair masks. So the first hair mask that I swear by would have to be the Mayel Rice Water Clay Mask. Bomb y'all. Bomb. I didn't use it today. I really should have but I had a wig on y'all for like a week and I still have not washed my hair and even before I put the wig on it was like two days before that before I washed my hair. So I haven't washed my hair or brushed my hair at all until today. So I washed it like an hour ago, um, still a little damp, not too wet, and I haven't brushed it. So I'm scared to see how much hair comes out. I'm going to show y'all how much hair comes out too. And the second one I like is the Mayel Rosemary Mint Striking Hair Mask. Bomb. Y'all don't use this. Y'all need to use this. And then I also use the um, Mayel Rice Water Deep Conditioner. And I will be using this as um, a styling product as well. And me, personally, I am a type of girl who leaves some of the conditioner still in my hair. That's just me. Y'all don't have to be me. That's just me, y'all. I'm going to start with um, re-wetting my hair. It is still a little wet. But we want it to be not drenched, but drenched. You know what I mean? I usually don't brush my hair with no product in it, but I did leave, like I said, some um, conditioner still in my hair when I washed it. So it's not too bad. I just really want to see how much hair came out of my head while I had that wig on. I just finished brushing it out. So let's see how much. This is how much hair I lost, y'all, with having that wig in my hair. That's not that much, honestly. I've lost, lost more, lost more. So after I usually like detangle my hair, I'll oil my scalp. I'm gonna be using the Blueberry and Mint Scalp Treatment Oil. And then I'm gonna be using the Cocoa, Cocoa Nibs and Honey Ultimate Strength Serum from Camille Rose. This is so bomb, y'all. So bomb. If y'all do not have this little rake thing, go get it, please. It's literally at the Dollar Tree. You can get it for a dollar. I usually will put the oil in my scalp and then I'll just massage it with this. Y'all. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Now that I um, massaged it all throughout my scalp, I'm going to start putting the product in. And I usually will start with the rice water deep conditioner. And I use it as like a regular product just to give me more <laughs> hydration. So I'm going to start with sectioning my hair. I'm going to do part by part, part by part. You know what I mean? Now I'm going to take probably about like this much, not too much y'all, and just put it all in there. After I go in with the deep conditioner, I'll go in with the rosemary water and I'll just 
spray it all throughout my hair and make sure I get those ends and then my scalp. After I go in with the spray, I go in with the Creme Brulee Whipped Cream and the Blueberry Bliss Leave-In Conditioner from Curls. And I usually will just put a little bit, probably about like that much. And then I'll mix them together. Ah. So probably about that much all together. This one, y'all, the creme brulee, smells so good. It smells like, like a fresh baked cake, y'all. Like, I kid you not. And then I just put it all through. After I distribute it all throughout, I'll just go through. Comb it back out. I love this brush, y'all. It just clumps your curls together so pretty. I need to invest in, like, a real Deming brush, but... This one, it does good, so if it's not broken, don't fix it. I will be back once I am done with my whole head because I'm literally just going to section it and do everything I just did the same way. Okay, guys, I finished basically my whole head, but I wanted to show you guys how I do the front piece because me personally, I do not like my curly hair to dry with a distinct part, like with like a middle part or a side part because it's all, it, the hair just stays there. So if you try to like flip it and be all cute, it gets poofy and frizzy. So like I just like it being no part so that way it can move freely. So I usually will just brush it down. If y'all can hear that noise in the background, it's my niece watching her loud old TV show or YouTube, whatever she's watching. So my bad. I usually brush it down y'all. But do the same thing, put some product in it, and then just flip it back. Just fix it a little bit, shake it, and yeah, put the leftover product and push my hair back. Last but not least, I'll get my edge booster with my edge control brush get some and i will just push all this hair back because i don't know about y'all but every time my curly hair dries all the hair around like my face that frames my face like the tiny baby hairs they'll get really frizzy and i don't like the look of swooped baby hairs with curly hair it's just me personally i just don't like the look so i'll usually just brush it all back and it also helps keep your hair from parting then i will get a cotton t-shirt and i will just scrunch my hair so before it dries this is the final look i'll turn around for you guys so you can see the back i don't know how it looks don't judge Honestly, I like it better when it air dries and diffusing is going to take too long anyway. So I will come back to you guys when my hair is fully dry and show y'all the results of my curly hair routine. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't look crazy. Because like I said, I will do the same thing over and over again and I will get different outcome every single time. Every single time. Why? Because the hair just, just wants to do what it wants to do which is fine fine okay you guys so this is what my hair looks like now the curls look so good um and yeah uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope i was able to maybe help you guys with your hair or put you guys on to some really good products let me tell you and yeah you guys i will see you guys in my next video